A D.R.D.O. lab engineer who was arrested last week for leaking classified information to a Pakistani agent, has revealed during investigation that he has leaked data including photos and detailed text, related to development of Agni series nuclear-capable intercontinental ballistic missiles, and about technical components of K-15, K-4 and K-5 submarine-launched ballistic missiles. The job profile of the engineer entailed field visits to defense manufacturing units, to assess work progress and fix deadlines, and he had access to specialized components used in missile development. A senior intelligence officer has said that the testing phase of K-4 SLBM is over, and it is currently under production for Sea Vector of Strategic Forces Command. The Combat Aircraft Systems Development and Integration Center has started feasibility studies for the integration of an electronic warfare suite on the Su-30 aircraft, and this is considered the first step toward the development of the Su-30 airborne electronic attack variant, that will be capable to perform a wide range of enemy defense suppression missions. The Su-30 airborne electronic attack aircraft will be carrying tactical jamming pods, communication countermeasures set electronic warfare receiver suite, satellite communications, and a high-performance signal intelligence sensor system. China had unveiled a J-16D electronic warfare variant in September 2021, which soon became operational in the Chinese Air Force after combat training. According to Russian media outlets, India, China and Egypt have placed orders for Russia's newest Sula radar, which is capable of detecting space debris at a distance of 6,000 kilometers. The radar is presently getting fabricated, and delivery is expected from 2023 onwards. The Sula radar has a dual usage, which means it can also be used to track long-range ballistic missiles. The Indian Coast Guard has inducted a Dhruv Advanced Light Helicopter Mark III into its newly created 840 squadron that will be based in Chennai, and three more helicopters will also be inducted very soon. With this delivery, Hindustan Aeronautics has delivered 13 out of 16 units that were ordered by the Indian Coast Guard. The Army Training Command has signed a Memorandum of Understanding with the Indian Institute of Technology Madrash to establish a 5G testbed at the Military College of Telecommunication, for the Army's operational use of 5G technology especially along the borders. IIT Madrash will provide consultancy, duly supported by research for feasibility studies and prototype development on 5G-enabled future communications. Researchers at the Indian Institute of Technology Jodhpur have developed a metal 3D printer, for potential use across a range of industries like aerospace and defense. All the components of this metal 3D printer, except the laser and robot systems are designed and manufactured in India, and if all the parts could be manufactured indigenously, the cost of a metal 3D printing machine could be reduced by three times.